Hi everyone, Leo here again with Solano Hispanic Timber. Right now I'm going to be talking to Solano County Public Health Vibe Solano, uh, who's going to be talking to us about the uh, Aura Hills and uh, Cannabis Youth Safety Tips. Uh, I'm going to be introducing you to uh, them briefly in a moment, but uh, if you, if you, as you can hear, right, we're in a beautiful day out in Vallejo. Um, you can hear many organizations are collaborating and just providing resources. And let's see who do we have. Hi, so. Hello, everyone. My name is Adeline, and so I'm from uh, Barcelona Public Health Department. Yes, Adeline. Pleasure to meet you today. And yes. Adeline, you were talking to us about uh, oral health today, and now uh, obviously this is part of the county, right? Yes. Uh, the, uh, the Department of Initiative of the County. Yes. Uh, now you were telling me about some interesting programs, right? From uh, parent educating their, yes. uh, you know, parent education to when they can start um, looking out for the, uh, right. the health of their kids. Exactly. To yes. assistance with uh, providing Delta care, dental care yes. for the kids. Yes, so tell definitely. them more. So the first thing that we would like to say is that like the first rule is first tooth, first birthday. So you should take your kid to the dentist as soon as you see that first tooth. Because that first tooth? Yes, because a lot of um, parents, they think, like, if it's like one tooth, why have to take them to the dentist? Yeah. Or it's a baby tooth, it doesn't matter. Does it matter? But it does matter. <laughs> it does matter because if the baby tooths are not healthy, the grown-up tooth that is going to come, they're also not going to be healthy. So, so a dentist can identify and the parents know. So parents are know are aware and maybe put a plan together and how to uh, take start taking care. of Exactly. So what they do usually at the first appointment, they're not gonna do anything to the kid. Just it's gonna be to, to like an introduction of the kid to see the uh, the office of the dentist. So this way they don't panic, you know. And then they're just gonna do the screening. And then they're also gonna provide preventive care, which we have two kinds. One is fluoride varnish, mm -hmm. which is like a like a little coating that goes to your on your, on the teeth. It, even on the gums, cavity. is it yes. on the gums? Okay, exactly. even on the teeth. So you could get like you know, as soon as you have that one tooth, you could get that fluoride varnish, and you can get the fluoride varnish four times a year. Okay. So when you go do the uh, cleaning, ask a dental provider to provide that fluoride varnish. Okay. You know, it prevents cavity. It's really good. And then when you get older, as you know, as soon as you see that. Six-year molar and twelve-year molar. There's another preventive care that you can get. It's called sealant. It means that when you have your molar tooth, you know there are little cracks in there. You know it's not a flat surface. So when you eat, the food gets stuck there. Mm -hmm. And then when you brush, mm -hmm. the bristles of the brush they're big. They cannot get right. okay. to those grooves. Okay. okay. So with the sealant, it, like a bag covers it. And, makes that surface flat. Really? So when you brush, you know, everything's going to be brushed out. So no food's going to left there. Oh, and wow. And so also, that, that on top of imagine with flossing. Uh, oh, okay. my God. Exactly. And another good tip is if you have medical, you already have free dental for sure. And they do offer free fluoride varnish and sealants to your, to your kids. So I was going to ask you that, right? A lot of our communities that, that perhaps yeah. are our audience and our Hispanic community that we are have a, a following or audience, yes. you know, they may be concerned, right? That even from legal status to uh, what if I don't have any coverage, health insurance coverage? Right, yes. What, what would be your recommendation? Medical, well, would that be a good way to exactly. go? Exactly. Medical would be a good way. Also, if they search online, I wish I had the flyer to share. There are, we have three clinics, county clinics in our county. Yes. So dental clinics, okay? Yes. When you go there and let them know that I do not have insurance, Coverage. okay? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, they will help you to register for Medi-Cal or even Medicare or whatever insurance okay. you qualify for. And then if they don't have time or if you need more assistance, there are other programs such as uh, community health and initiatives. Yeah, they are the, the, the sole program is to help individuals to sign up for an insurance, a dental insurance, health insurance, to see which program fits right. them best. They are using a, I don't know if you heard of uh, California Cover. Uh, so they will they will let you know that oh like you know you qualify for medical you qualify for this insurance you qualify for that insurance and they're really good at you know helping you to register for that program. Right. So everyone, right? If uh, 
I, even not having health coverage is, is not an excuse, right? Because uh, the, the county, I know it's a, it's a governmental building, don't be scared, right? Even the county can provide those resources. There's other organizations that can tell you where to go and register. Exactly. Uh, and Another good program I would like to offer or like let you know about is a Smile California. Okay. Smile California is the best website, best program. As soon as you get to the website, it's easy to find a dentist in your area mm -hmm. and when you go special the dentist that accepts medical let's okay. say you find a dentist that accepts medical but you don't have medical you still can go to their office and let them know that i don't have a dentist uh -huh. i saw you on a website uh -huh. and they're going to help you to register for that oh and that's, so, yeah, that's like, good so, so sonríe california or smile california, california stay yeah. why i'm imagining yeah, uh, and website. they have information in, in Spanish too. Okay. And different languages. Ayudar ah, español, ¿verdad? Para que sí les yes. ayuden a registrar, a, a buscar un, There, a identificar yeah. un, un, un dentista, pero también que les ayude a registrarse con seguro dental o, o seguro de salud, si no saben. Oh, well, great information. Yes. Thank you. And then, um, but all the concerns that, that, you know, minority communities may have and my immigrant community are like, oh, oh. Why would I go to a government building? You know, I'm concerned about my legal status. Yes. Any anything that you want to say yes. about that? I totally understand. That's why, uh, if you don't feel comfortable to, to get to the the government building, we do have another program, which is the dental mobile dental unit. So, like, like such as this event, we usually have our dental mobile unit to go to, mm. and then uh, we will advertise that on our Facebook. Mm -hmm. You are so follow them on Facebook. Vibe Solano. Vibe Solano, okay, on everyone. Facebook. <laughs> yes, exactly. We will like if you follow that, you will know where that dental van is. Okay. And then when you get there, they're not gonna ask you if you have insurance. If you don't have insurance, like your you know status, they're not gonna ask anything. They're just there to provide that services. Okay. To what you. about on the county clinics? Uh, do they should they be have any concern either or going there too? No, feels. Feel safe, yeah. I know it's like kind of like, oh, I like you're saying that, but yes, like trust me, they're not gonna ask any of your status of what is going on. They're just there to serve you as a community member. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yes, That's a great information today. Yes. And any, any of, um, I know. Um, uh, 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 the other information was shared. If there's any organizations or parent groups that wants to actually learn more about it, I think you mentioned that you will be willing to talk oh, to them. Yes, exactly. So personally, I could any organizations or any daycare event or any school settings. Oh, nice. Like yeah. That, yes. You can contact me. I will be there to provide the education on how to floss and how to brush, teach it to your kids, and also as an adult and as a parent, teach you how to do that for your kids because when they're small, you have to teach them how to do that and then also we do have a dental hygienist that she can also mm. do the free dental screening mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then also free fluoride varnish that we talked about is the preventive care and then also if you have a kid that is going to go to the first grade as one of the things that you have to do is fill out this assessment form for a dental meaning that you have to go see a dentist to fill out this little form that i have it right because it's one of the requirements of our schools exactly. and our districts okay yes, okay exactly. and then uh so you mentioned contact, contact you, but what's the best way to contact yes. you? Uh, I can provide my information to you. Um, this okay. Way, yes. So you can send us a message then? Exactly. <laughs> I will send you a message with my contact information, email address, phone number, and all that good stuff. And then this is one of the example of the form that needs to be filled out. Okay. But when we come to your organization, we will have a dental hygienist do that for free. And then, you know, do the screening and sign this. And then this is the form that you have to return to the school. Okay, got and then it. And there's a, like a little flyer that explains exactly what it is. And right. Exact, and then again, I'm using Smile California. Mm -hmm. You can find all, all this information in different languages on Smile California got as it. well. Also, we do have a, a group, which is what we call ourselves Solano County Oral Health Program. So every other month, we gather together, we have dentists to also join us, community members to join us. In short, we call us SOHAC. It's like a, a community coalition meeting that we would like to have a community members to join that. So this way we will know, like as a community members, what do you guys need? Mm. You know, what are your needs? Mm -hmm. you know, because we are funded by the state to provide services to you guys. So if you guys don't, uh, if I, we don't know. If it's not you, used. Yeah, like you know, if we don't know what exactly the community mm -hmm. needs, what's, you know. Where the funds are going to be directed. Yes, yeah. Exactly. So we would 
love to have that. I will put that all that information in the message as well. And feel free, as of right now, we're meeting virtually. And it's going to be via Zoom. And we would like to have anyone that's interested, even yourself. Yes, thank you. I appreciate yes. it. So. Uh, very important, right? If you want to learn about any of these resources, you can contact us, send us a message, and I can put you in contact with Vice Solano. Exactly. And, and, and any concerns do you have? Any ideas do you have? You know, then you can let us know. Alright, thank you. I appreciate thank it today. Alright, everyone, we'll be uh, talking to uh, another vendors real quick, but I uh, hope you got to learn, because I did get to learn a lot about resources that are kind of offered. Thank you.